stronger. The team that, to me, that has looked more dominant in their matches, that is clearly more dominant in the sense you look at map differential, they, when they win, they just stomp in Mayhem Academy, or the weird, almost mystical uh, presence for Fusion University that means that they've won every game, but it goes to map five a whole lot. They look shaky a lot of times, but throughout their entire history of contenders, they have never lost. Streaks are made to be broken, so we're gonna, I'm going to come out with it right here. I think that Mayhem Academy actually takes us 3-1 today. And I'm on the opposite side. Uh, I think that Fusion Uni still, I mean, you just have to beat them, and no one's yeah. done it yet. If Mayhem Academy is able to take control, the idea that they take the entire series super it, likely. It, it makes it a much more likely. I wouldn't say it makes yeah. it super likely, but it makes it much yeah. more likely. But well, well, we're going to be starting out here, and Mangachu. Not a Reaper. Not a it, Reaper, it, ZP. No. 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 Not the Reaper. I, I, I've I never agreed with the Reaper pick, but I, here I, it is. I don't agree with it either, but if I had to trust anyone with it, it would be Mangachu, the silly hero specialist himself. But they lose Manitin early on, and already this is looking like a questionable decision. It doesn't look like this is the most impactful split. There's an opportunity for them to just run. Come on, man. I can't have shit in this house. At the face with Reaper, and oh, Mangachu just gets popped. Alarm says, get out of here. Lands the orbs on the Mangachu. I do wonder if that's going to be the end of Reaper here, as Mayhem is getting off to a very tough start. Th this is awkward. You almost never see it, but I nice split! Mangachu landing the split here on the Beast Halo. He's going to be forcing out the Transcends for Alarm, and now it's getting real cold in here on the other side. Shots, though, going to fall. Graviton, invested here by Mayhem Academy. They are all in on this fight, and yet they are getting thrown completely out. Me, going to be playing here, uh, here for Gardens. It's going to be triple DPS. Back Fiction on the Hammond. Fusion Uni probably going to be playing 3-3 here. Beast Halo on the Rhine. In this case, you know, Mamma kind of says, you know, that last round went bad. What do we do for the next? Hit him with the old Chengdu. Is what they're going for here. I imagine Fusion Uni are going to go back to Swan and just, at the very least, put Beast Halo on to Winston. Yeah, it's going to be Winston Mora, well, no, I think. No, they're keeping it there. I think they're going to get a Moira, but I don't think they're going to swap a Winston. They're going to keep the Rhine, rotate from the White Room, and then move to Point. And, and they make swap, swap the other way. Okay, ma'am, gonna go. Oh, we see your swap. We see you, so we're gonna swap the other way. But note the difference. They have Zen on the field. Alarm knows it too. Future Another swap. The, the oh, here it swap. is. The mystery heroes, and they give up first point for and the mystery the, heroes. And in the end, we end up with three three, but they with first control. Well, that, it really just it just be like that, as they say. <laughs> but they're under heavy pressure here from Mercy. Facto dives in deep, gets Snillo, and ends up living to tell the tale. It's gonna be. This fight being won decisively by Mamba Cap. So Fusion 40 in a big hole here. And, you know, also in terms of ults, you know, Mamba Cap. Oh, back again. Got Car Car early into the fight. It was him and Shax going in deep. He blocked Shatter too. Yeah, this Bezo is so gets good. nothing from the Shatter. And the trance is out for alarm. I, I don't even. Everything is going wrong. We'll see what they're going to do. Graviton. Combo set up here. Graviton could be coming in first from Mam Academy. Manaton throws the bomb to the skies. And there it is. Takes down two. Manaton's bomb. And they Connecting. commit grab bomb. They commit Fusion Uni commit grab bomb in that fight when they still had another contest. But now heading into this, I think Fusion University is expecting Mayhem to come out on the DPS Gambit. And that's why you're seeing them line up on this. But I wonder if they're going to swap as soon as they see the 3 3. I, you know, already I, it's possible. But we really don't want to see Fusion Uni take so much time in spawn playing. Let's who has the better composition for the first fight? Because if you just give up the first, it still puts well, you at a huge disadvantage. Okay, they saw it and they're, they're already going. They're okay, going it's back. fine if they do it this early because yes. they have 20 seconds left. Now, if they continue to make more swaps, then I might be I might be worried. Man Academy, no chill in heading out here. They immediately. No chill in heading out here. They immediately. There it is. Probably now can commit with that graviton surge and force. What? <laughs> what is this eat from Fury? Run it again. Look, watch this clip, dude. Run it again. It's, oh, there it is. Probably now can it commit with a graviton surge and force. Guy's a monster. Ooh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gravated! Burnar just smothers it. Fusion that was a crazy eat, Tuzi. Yeah, that was not easy. Not even a little bit. Barrier. In from Am Academy, they still want to take this fight. Fact drops the shatter, knocks down nice, and the shatter from Fact sets up the rest. Paintbrush getting the boop, and Mam Academy still gonna take the fight even with the grab gone. Look at Shax, the Madman. He's at 80 percent. That that was an incredible play by Fact Fiction, setting up the shatter to get these frags. Paintbrush getting two, and they even got the beat out of Karkar. So Shax building up to another grab here, despite the eat from Bernard. 
Mayhem Academy have to feel happy about that fight. And more importantly, I don't think they're going to expect the crowd here from Shax. There's the bomb out trying to split Mayhem. Bomb out. And Manitin having to self-destruct just to get back to the back foot. It works out! It gets two! It's still set up by Mayhem Academy. Off the grab from Shax, who built it up so quickly. But Mayhem Academy still overall much further ahead in the old game. Trans er, Rowley going to be invested here early from Mayhem Academy. Shatter from Fact after getting disrupted. Not going to be as good, but Alarm got caught by Mangachu. Nonetheless, this is last fight, TP. It's last fight! Mayhem Academy! They're about to do it! They're about to rip! Control away from Fusion University. And now it's just clean up. Fusion University looking for the miracle. Beast Tail will get but it doesn't matter. Mayhem Academy has taken control advantage away from Fusion University. I don't think it's a record that's going to be broken. Even if it were the end here today, I don't think any team ever sets that record it, again. It seems impossible to do so here into the Pharah, into the Ash. I, I think Sombra is also a very good one as oh. Arm gets the right click. The Tamers get the res though. Zenyatta greater than the Ash here, and I don't, we'll see if they're able to get the res. They do get the res, but it comes at such a cost. There's so much damage on the front line. Nice going wild on the point. And when you res, even if you get the res off, you're not healing during that time, and that just went from bad that to worse very quickly. That yeah. was an incredible push for Fusion Union. I mean, Alarm gets a, a great right click, and Fusion Union just move in blazingly fast, knowing that Paintbrush is looking for a res, and punish very, very hard. Getting through point B relatively quickly here. Three minutes, 50 seconds left on the clock for Graviton in reserve. Sonar holding on to the combo. We watch nice this grab here, so he's so important. Holding, waiting, Graviton's in. Bernard waiting. Meanwhile, the counter self destruct from Anderson. Gets alarm. Not just that, but oh, Paper oh, gets two. Boom. The boom actually gets two. That was a huge hero play, not only from Paintbrush, but from Fat Manitin getting that bomb kill onto Alarm. Even without the boops, with yeah. Alarm down, that would have been a huge impact frag. Both teams deadlocked here on the bridge. And you look at Paintbrush, not going for any crazy boops here just yet. You know, always have to be aware of where the other team's Lucio is. And Earth Shatter, fact, finding the opening set up there. And now, two. Fusion is still committing? I don't understand why they transcended. They think they could win it off of the Shatter from Beast Halo. Beast Halo drops the Shatter, hits an incredible amount. But there was already two down. Fact had already killed two. Booped off one. Got the charge on the car car. Fact just won the Ryan yeah. games versus Beast Halo. He yeah. just he just out. He just won the Ryan games. Yeah. There's really nothing else to point. Yeah, he, he just found the right moment and let it fly. The standoff here at the bridge. They have plenty of resources in reserve. Fusion oh, University gonna rally. Dive on in. They look for Fact instead. They're gonna get grabbed. Manitin. Bomb over here to the skies. Car car down. And again, Paintbrush knocks them off the map. I, even without the knocks, the fight was over anyways. There was no transcendence alive. The, the grab was so big that they were going to get the cleanup anyways. After the other for Mayhem Academy. Look at Mayhem's hold. Oh, oh, this is so smart. They've been holding so Are they going to bait Mangachu? Or are they waiting for Mangachu to call for the... They're calling oh. for Mangachu for the engage. Oh, they're going in. Okay, both runs going to trade out. In fact, doesn't quite have the cleanest. And no, oh, still catches alarm. The shatter gets him on the back. And he's down. F finishes. What back starts? You don't see teams take these aggressive, risky plays sometimes. And, and uh, that was a beautiful play. That's the type of play which Fusion Unity would never expect. And Mayhem Academy, they've already changed the course of battle here. They're not going back to the bridge. They're not going far forward. They're holding in a more awkward spot. Grab's not going to be used here early from Jax. Manitin threads it through. Nice is down. Well, it means that Fusion University is going to be taking a jump off the bridge here in all likelihood. Fact, just going to get pummeled onto the side. But you look at this. He's getting well protected. Manitin back on in. Mangachu going to drop the rally. This fight is not over here yet. As even as Beast Halo swings the hammer, he's under pressure. He's going to fall. And Shax ends up finding him towards the very end. And Mayhem Academy, they're fighting this back. They've done enough here. Avast, it's going to be Mayhem Academy holding here on point B. Mangachu just beast moded. Mangachu just has the rally late. They come back with the contest. Fact Fiction knows I'm not going to die yet. I'm sitting on high ground. I'm going to rotate. I'm going to stay alive so I can come back in and be in the fight. And Mangachu pops the later rally, chases down those frags. And I think when we put the context of that fight, what was so important was the was the fight on high ground. Yeah. You see where Shax, he puts in a grab early in that room, and the only reason he grabs so early is because Mangachu flails Bernard off the high ground. There is no Matrix. So they grab, get ults out very early from Fusion Uni, allowing them to have the chance to get the time off the bank to come back in late. So now, Mayhem Academy going to be on the offense. going to be playing triple DPS, and Mayhem Academy can afford to play the triple DPS here because... All they have to do is guarantee the first cap, which Triple DPS is very strong for doing so, and then if they need to make the swap to that 3T per second. 
And Manga 2 right now. Manga 2. Over the top here. Heavy damage coming in from the Bara. And this is usually an advantage to the DPS comp here. And already they're pushing Fusion quite off the point. Yeah, Fusion are just entirely off. They backed up. You see that currently Bernard is hacked. Still just poke damage coming out onto Mayhem. This is so much early DMEC onto Bernard. Yeah, and this is looking really well. This is what a DPS comp can do to Eichenwald point A. And they're just kind of dissecting Fusion University here. Fusion University, at most, they're playing for delay, but the delay isn't even going to be that much. It's just too decisive damage from all angles. A quick point A take from Mayhem Academy. Mayhem Academy did that critic, just uh, clinically by isolating Bernard, getting the hack out of Bernard, focusing Bernard to give Mangachu the maximum amount of value. Because Mangachu's Pharah is without, you know, I mean, we can say this without exaggeration that it is 100% one of the best. It's always been one of the best in the game. Pre OWO, post OWO, doesn't matter. Find me someone who's going to tell you Mangachu's far as bad. I'll tell you they're wrong. So now, Mayhem Academy, they're staying on this for the first fight. Though they might have to swap 3 3 after this. It's entirely dependent on how much value they get from this barrage from Shax's pulls. Mangachu setting up for the barrage over the top. Too much poke damage on Merlin Barrage. But then he goes for the sneaky business. He drops down, drops back up, gets two off the barrage. And even a good diva like Bernard didn't realize it was coming. And that was so good for Mayhem. Because the quintessential problem you run into often with the triple DPS comp as you move into the second push is you have to invest an EMP. You have to invest an EMP to move forward. But they didn't. They only invested I, I the don't barrage. like the McCree swap here from Nice. Like they're, they're trying to put pressure on the Mangachu, but this train is so bad for McCree. It is, and these chokes are just not good from either. You see, Eugenie, they're entering here. There's the Valkyrie out for Paintbrush. Valkyrie out early, Mangachu again getting the early pickoff. The far of pressure has been just completely suffocating here. Fusion University gasping to breathe, and it's not getting any better. They can't even get out, and that they've almost done it. The payload almost through. Mayhem Academy about to go up two to nothing over the defending champions, over the massive win streak. And there it is. 2-0 at the half. Mayhem Academy, their triple DPS on point. I, I think that Mayhem Academy are playing some of the best Overwatch we've seen in, in a contenders yeah. right now. They're, it's... I can't look at the roster right now and say like, I'm going to criticize this person because so far I've just, there's nothing to criticize in Mayhem Academy's play. <laughs> No, I mean, it has been, well, there is something. Other than the Reaper. Reaper. Yeah, other than the Reaper. Right, we, I will we, always we, criticize the Reaper. Yeah, we, we try to block that one. The, other there was the Reaper. But now we move to Hanamura. It's this is an interesting defense here. Look yeah. at this defense for Mayhem. They're going to be running Fact Fiction on the Hammond and having and having Shaxx on Tracer here. They're playing the triple DPS defense, extremely mobile. Look at Manitin's EMP charge right now. Already, 90%. Shaxx got alarmed. The early pressure onto the backline works. You're down to Lucio and a Zenyatta here. This is going to be a win for Mayhem Academy. I mean, right now, here's a lot of stake for Fusion University in the next two minutes. Dead Eye, though. Snipes, paintbrush out of the sky. Manitin, though, responds. The EMP onto the back. Shaxx Mangachu desperately diving in. As you see, here come Fusion Unity entry. Yes. Megachu, he's looking for the barrage. He drops it, but there's oh, the transcendence. He's down. Done. Ill advised barrage. And Manitan's dead, too. I don't think there's any way for Mayhem to win this fight no. now. They've staggered here, too. They've staggered. And Fusion Unity are already on the way to the point. They're going to have Primal. They're going to have Beat. They have a Dead Eye. They have so many ults for this fight. And Mayhem Academy, they're just not making swap. Megachu's on Torb. Yeah, uh, Megachu, uh, or Mayhem Academy might have gotten a little bit cocky here in how they defended this, where they. they Got a little bit too fast and loose. Remember, Fusion University, very good team. Going to be heading on in self destruct buying space. Beast Halo pummeling the turn on the other side. Checks down. Everyone from Fusion University still up here as they assault the point. Eps is down. Fusion University just pummeling through here. And Mayhem Academy struggling to get anything going. Alarm might be down, but oh, they need more. Man, no, it's done. The cleanup is there. Eps is alive, but it's too late is not running a Lucio. You have to look to Snow, look to see if anyone becomes purple early, and Manitin does. Manitin eats a Bionate early, he ends up in a lot of damage, but he's still back up. Still totally okay here for Mayhem. And this is actually kind of an unfortunate spot for Fusion, since Mayhem, really you want to get value before Mayhem get to the point. And now Mayhem are at the point. They're at their spot. Uh, alarm down! Alarm down super early here. Back, able to take him down. And now, man advantage of the Mayhem Academy. The honest setup perhaps not working as well for them here. And here's Mangachu falling. This is too much attrition in all likelihood. It should be Mayhem able to take point A. And now for Fusion, you just need to die. Don't get They can catch an ice. They yeah, what? Get they, nice. Get them. Yeah, they're going for it right now. Fusion University, they've made the same mistake. Snow is off the map. Mayhem Academy, they can run this straight down mid. 
there is going to be nice and still are going to be coming up. But they will yep. have ults. Fax is on the point. They're there to contest. This is going to be an ult battle very, very soon. See if Nice can get value. They just bring it down mid immediately. That's exactly what you do. When this this trance is so early, ZP. It is. It's not super ideal. Fax and drop the shatter. Doesn't hit anyone. They're still able to final arm. The charge still works out. And they have Academy. It's even faster. Yeah, it's going to be quicker. It's six minutes left. This no. is so incredible, ZP. How? We go. A game. You see here, Shax and Fact Fiction are actually holding a little close. I wonder if they're going to look for an early engage or try to get poke. It's probably just going to be poke and leave. You would think so. Going, given that the, no one else is really with them here. Even then, though, can be a bit risky. But yeah, Shax just going to go, hi, I'm here. I'm Tracer. Goodbye. You need Paintbrush to take this fight to actually heal up. But Shax somehow finds nice in the back. It was helped out by Eps. And out the man advantage. No one's left to deal with Mangachu. Bam, just re-engage. Manitin Sombra, you know, we talked previously in our last matchup about how important it is to have a deep, an off tank player that affects the Sombra. Manitin Sombra has been fantastic. And, it, and historically, it hasn't been. He absolutely went out of his way to grind on this hero to bring it up to an acceptable competitive level. It's not even about the EMPs, it's just his hacks, his pressure, not dying to the flashbangs from Nice. Everything is exactly what you need. And here, we're going to see an EMP probably come out very soon. Yeah, he's just hiding. Oh. It's pulled out stealth here. Under a bit of pressure and drops the MP under pressure, but Mangachu is there for the fall through, but ends up falling. Nice. Punishing him, but the problem is he's gonna get res back He'll up. He'll get res. These tails are primal, so there's a lot of options here. As oh. Karkar though, sniped! Karkar down, and let's not forget, Fusion University has more than the normal time here. They had about four and a half minutes here for point A. And they're down to two. This could be a longer than the average hold for point A, just by virtue of that. That's how good Mayhem Academy has been here so far. Taking that early poke, Mangachu is about to have another barrage. What's up, bitch? Oh! Jedi connects! Mangachu out, but he's resible here. There's no ult, so there's really going to be the beat up for Karkar very soon. Pulse this hold doesn't connect! It does not. It no! Does not. That was so, so close. On the other side, Barrage gonna be invested here by Mangachu. Down he goes. Nice back in on the soldier. The like ability. Got him back in. Wait till last moment. Oh, they, paintbrush dying though is exactly what you don't want to happen. Out. They still they still have a chance. They're gonna go for the EMP. They lose Mangachu! I don't think this is winnable here at this point. No. The transcendence is also really good for alarm. It came at the right opportunity. Fusion University, again. It takes them forever on point A, but they strike back deeply into point B. And, and Fact Fiction, they can still contest. I mean, Fact Fiction's still there. He can still fight, but there's no way they win this fight. The focus fire is too strong. They just want to lay to zero. They want to play the won't. I don't think they'll be able to unless Shax gets some of the best they've ever seen. No. But, okay, they're actually going to go 3-3 three, three here. Yeah, I mean, they played 3-3 three, three on the first offense as well, remember? Yeah, they, they swapped them. They did swap. Yeah, so they, they start they, with that, and they swap. Yeah. So here they're going to come back in, taking this a very aggressive rotation. Moving up to the high ground, gonna move directly to point, and they're gonna force Snillo to rotate to the other side. As you see right now, Karkar, he was looking for the boop, he can't, he's climbing up, you see him, he's trying to climb, he's trying to climb for the boop. He manages to get it, that's a huge boop! All right, nice, to get, ooh, nice, to, so absolutely demolished, whip shots in the air, absolutely taken down on the other side now. The counter engage does get Mangachu. It's not without merit for Fusion University, but even with the primal, Beast Halo just absolutely crushed. Oh, arm striking deeply, gonna transcend. Fusion University, they think that they can take this, but they could be repeating the same mistake as before. They need to be careful that if they die, they need to all die now. They've lost Alarm and Snow. It's time to retreat. The point is over. Stop fighting. So Fusion University playing for time. Karkar, though, gets really low. Almost falls to the damage from Eps in the back. Beast Halo. Gonna be dropping the shatter here, doesn't get anything. Totally blocked away. Meanwhile, fact, his shatter is up. He could end this. Look at this pressure here. on the beast. Yeah, beast is his shield's about to break. Well timed! But Mangachu falls. He went deep trying to set that up. They need and to keep Epps alive. Epps must live. Manitin must live. Oh man, it's down a mech. Self-destruct out here, transcendence. Gonna be used, it's the bomb, still catches paintbrush. Fusion Uni, might have done enough here. Shax is in real danger, focus on all ends. Fusion, oh, they've man. helped. They've absolutely helped. One minute left for Mayhem Academy. Hanamura has been looking so good for them, but now it is in jeopardy. Fusion University might be looking to get out that broom and back it up in reverse. They can't do it. There's no, no way they can keep doing it. It, it, it. You never know. Alarm, is he gonna get transcend up? Bernard's already down. He's holding on to the Transcend. There's a lot of displacement here. Fusion University off the point. Bam Academy getting firm control. Transcendence late for Alarm here. Ends up moving in. 
don't know if the Fall Dude's gonna be there, but the uh, Shatter, they use again Pain Brush. One down here from Mam Academy, Transcend into their own. Gonna be keeping Shax up. Graviton. A late grab from Nice. Nice grabs yeah. in the spawn. No one can clean up. Mam Academy, they might be doing it right here and now. They're gonna be running out of time, but they'll be getting this fourth point. It's definitely not over yet. Nice grab. If it only it held on for this next week, it would have been so much better, but they used it there. Final There's play, the moving in. Bomb, clearing space. Mayhem Academy, pushing it to the limit. Emergency Doom Fist denied. And we go to another set of rounds. I don't think they want to enter into any scenario where they have to get progress on point B in order to avoid the series loss. Beast gonna drop down immediately here, looking for the Winston Poke. Heavy dive in, aided by Discord Orb, but no, he's down! The focus fire the other way. Five on but look, five. Nice Shax is has down. done more! Shax has done more! Fame Academy! This is a fight they can win! They could get point A! They have, they're getting ticks too, even if they don't win, getting ticks is valuable. Yeah. That peel on the entry onto Epps, Mangachu's armor pack along with the bubble from Shax was so crucial. This is so good for Mam Academy right now. With Karkar, he's of... dead! Karkar's out of it! Mam Academy, at a minimum, they're gonna be getting point A! They're gonna be taking Fusion Uni to the limit! This is a snowball scenario! The Ultimates are gonna be coming online here. Rally up for Mam Academy! Gonna be added in by Earth Shatter and Grav right after. Fusion University backs against the wall. Mam Academy looking to stop this streak in half. I cannot believe how good the peel was for Mangachu and Shaxx on the entry there for Epps. The, even though Epps dies to alarm, the peel just enables them to win that fight. Mam Academy getting back over. Rally gonna be used here early. The pressure is on. Beast Halo in real danger right now. Shield under pressure. So is his health. He backs out. Buys himself a little bit of time, but again, now they swap over. They're looking for alarm on the other side. Alarm in really big trouble. So is Beast Halo. Beast Halo's down. Mam Academy off back shatter. They're starting to do it. Up two here on the point. Alarm trance. Look at this early trance too. Shax has grab. Manton has bomb. The grab set up here for Mayhem. The dagger in the heart being prepped directly for Fusion University. Mam Academy, they're going to win this fight. They're going to get point B. An alarm, he gets the last pick off, but it's not gonna be enough. What an attack from Mayhem Academy. Fusion University, are you sweating yet? I, I cannot reiterate this enough, how important it was. On that entry, when Beast Taylor drops onto Epps, Mangatu's armor pack and Shaxx's bubble onto Epps. Even though Epps dies, they get the frag, they get another frag onto Nice, and it's all because Fusion overcommitted seeing how low Epps was. And that is the definite, and that is why you cannot that's why we've t when we've seen Zins dying in 3-3 from a Winston dive, yeah. you know, getting on the back line, that's why it should never work. It's because you have so many peel abilities, and Mayhem peeled perfectly for Epps there. Mangachu and Shax, again. This is probably the most tense moment Fusion University has been in, and I'm counting all the way back to when they were one fight away from losing the Toronto in the middle of last year. The streak has never been in a more perilous situation. Fusion University must now Speed run, Mayhem Academy, where again, they haven't shown the ability to do that. And, look, that and look at Mayhem Academy, look what they're doing here. I, I think they're going to sneak and hide on high ground. They might even just take the fight outside the doors. Is everyone joining them, or is it just going to be Epson no, back? No, no, no. What? I think I everyone's joining them. They are. They're going to drop on them before the doors. I respect the gumption behind this, but this could also end terribly. It's either brilliance, but notice how they're starting on 3-3. Even if it goes terribly, they're not going to be yeah. behind overall in ult True. for the swap. So they're they're hedging their bets. The stuff of champions. Is this how the streak ends? They drop on down. Beast Halo. Under heavy folks, probably look to Bionate. Back, Shaxx and Paintbrush in trouble. Alarm. Trying to hold this back. But Mammoth can't And already, just with that, that's a great fight. Yeah, yeah. That's a great fight. They, right they suffer no ill effects. They've already burned. Time off the clock. Fusion University. They must go, but Beast Halo's down. Beast Halo out of it early. Fusion University in hot retreat. They can't let this dog pile on top of them. Time is not on their side. Oh, this is so good for Mayhem Academy. Not only have they burnt already so much time off that early pick, off that first fight. Look at the rally and look at the transfer Eps. If I, if I'm possible for Mayhem, if I don't get a clear fight win, if I don't just you know if I lose anyone or get low, I don't even commit ults because second all you have to do is hold. Second, that's all you have to do. Final fight here for Fusion University. History in the making. Mayhem Academy on the verge of doing it. Fusion University holding back. But they must go. Nine seconds. They need to get presence 
here on the point. Nano boost up here for alarm. It's going in. I think he put it on Brigida. It's a Brigida nano here. Beast is dead. The target. Beast Halo's down. He thought he was getting the nano. Instead, it's on Stillo. We're in overtime. Fusion University on the brink. Bernard, super low. Still under pressure. Gonna nice drop the ride. It's, it's, it's over. And ends them with the Earth Shatter at the very end. The streak is over. Fusion University, you are 30 and done. I that is incredible. That is an incredible play. That is incredible play overall from Mayhem. The 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 plays they made, you know, make, taking that risky move to take the fight before the doors is instrumental there. Yeah. Because even as we saw that that anti was onto Epps, he saw his trance. He can pop it, he was under pressure. Nice was dead. They still like everything was up that they needed. Mayhem Academy earning the first seed. So now Fusion Uni. Suffering their first loss in contenders for, is this two seasons? Three seasons? Uh, two? It's, no, no, it's three and a half seasons. Three and a half seasons? Three seasons in last year, and this entire season so far this year. We, incredible. We're I don't, three and a half I don't think we'll, I, I think you said this as well before no. we started today's cast, but I don't think we'll ever see uh, a streak like this again.